insect to anyone and they'll immediately think of grasshoppers, ants, butterflies, and others. We all know these different insects and see them everywhere we go, but what exactly makes an insect? They come in an amazing variety of shapes and colors, but their bodies are more complex than you may have thought. Different insect families are unique in their own way, but all insects have the same basic anatomy. That's what we're about to explore in this edition of All Bugged Out. At one end of an insect's body is the head. Its features include the eyes, antennae, and mouth parts. Insects have compound eyes made of thousands of tiny lenses, each one facing a different direction. This gives insects the ability to receive and process visual signals very rapidly. It may also be why it can be very difficult to swat a fly. In addition to compound eyes, adult insects also possess two or three simple eyes, which are very tiny and have only one lens. The simple eyes cannot focus, but are used to detect the intensity of light or darkness. The head also features a pair of antennae, which the insect uses for smelling and touching. In the middle of the body is the thorax. It connects to the insect's wings and legs. All insects have six legs. Each leg has a claw on the end, as well as an adhesive pad that allows them to climb vertical surfaces. It's like in cartoons when someone uses suction cups to climb walls. Insects even have their taste buds at the bottoms of their feet. The feet taste the food by analyzing chemicals. Wings are very common features on insects. Some, like dragonflies, have two pairs of wings that move independently of one another. Ants and termites only grow wings when they are at the right age to reproduce. Fleas, silverfish, and lice are among the few insects that do not have any wings at all. The abdomen, at the other end, is the biggest part of an insect's body. It contains the digestive, excretory, and reproductive organs. The abdomen can expand as the insect eats, so it can make the insect look fatter. On the sides are tiny pores called spiracles, which allow oxygen to pass through and enable the insect to breathe. Some aquatic insects, like water boatmen, breathe with gills full of air tubes. All insects are invertebrates. They have no bones in their bodies, but instead feature a protective outer covering called an exoskeleton, which is actually why insects are so small. If they were any bigger, their exoskeletons would be too heavy to carry. Those are the basics of insect anatomy. They may be small, but like any other creature, their bodies are an intricate machine of working parts. That concludes this edition of All Bugged Out. Be sure to subscribe for more Wildlife Chronicles and to comment below on what other topics related to insects you would like to see on this series. You bet your abdomen there will be more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on our next adventure.